Uh, we're gonna make a pizza Bianca, which is a white pizza, and we're gonna grill the pizza outside. I'm gonna show you a pizza dough that I love to use. We're gonna start with some dry yeast and some water, sort of lukewarm, about 100 degrees. And the yeast in the water starts to fizzle and bubble up a little bit, and that's gonna take about five minutes. So then I have uh, five cups of flour. I'm gonna put three of the cups of flour in first to make it nice and smooth. And then also some salt. All right. And then with my hands, I'm just gonna make sure that I make a really sort of smooth paste out of this. No clumps. Then I'm gonna add the rest of my flour. And we're gonna take some bench flour. All right, now we're gonna knead this for about 10 minutes. I have a bowl here with a little bit of olive oil in the bottom. I'm just gonna sort of cover it with that. And then at this point, you wanna cover it with some plastic and let it sit for about three hours and it's gonna grow in volume. So we're just gonna cut it into four. I'm gonna let this rest for about a half an hour more and they're gonna rise even more. Okay, we're gonna take our pizza peel. Gonna brush it with a little oil. A little salt and pepper. All right, you ready? Here's the way it goes. All right, oil side down, right on the grill. Now what I'm gonna do is rush this side of it. So when we flip it over, it won't stick to the grill. And we're gonna start with the Telegio. It's a mild, very creamy cheese. I love Telegio. I mean, look at this. Just fantastic. Very creamy, very mild. Has a little bit of a nutty flavor to it. And I just sort of dot it around. I'm, you know, we're not trying to fill up the dough here. And then we're gonna take a little bit of our fresh ricotta that we drained out. This is very important. You wanna make sure that you dry out the fresh ricotta, otherwise it's gonna have a lot of water in it and make your dough soggy. We don't want that to happen. And then some Parmesan Reggiano. And some black pepper. All right, now I put this on a sheet pan because I don't want the dough to cook anymore. I just want all the cheeses to melt. Use this as an oven now. Gorgeous. Now we can put it on our cutting board. And then we can take beautiful peppery baby arugula. Just sort of let it fall from the clouds onto your pizza so it's nice and light. It's gorgeous. And then just a little touch of some white truffle oil. A little bit goes a long way, so you don't want to put too much on. Get your pizza cutter out. Uh, you hear that sort of crispy pizza? Listen to this. That's what you want to hear. Really simple.